This is the Love for Muslims Prayer Vigil. My name is Kevin Jones, and this is a tool that God gave me to encourage everyone around the nation to pray for the Muslim people, particularly around that 1040 window. This is one way that you can participate in the harvest. And our foundational scripture that we have for this call is in Isaiah 19, 19 through 25. This passage of scripture, which you can take a look at at any time, is our foundation that proves that God is going to pour out his spirit in the Middle East, starting in Egypt, moving through Assyria, and then back to Israel. This passage of scripture promises that there will be an awakening in the last days in the Middle East, both spiritually and politically. And then our second set of scriptures are our foundations for spiritual warfare to come against ISIS and other organizations very similar to it. Behind them all are unclean spirits that try to influence the world and do. We will come against that. And thirdly, are the scriptures that we stand on for all the nations of the world. Though we are fo focusing on Muslim people, these scriptures apply for all the nations of the world. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Lord, now is the time to pray for Egypt once more. Lord God, according to your word in Isaiah 19, 19 to 25, God, pour out your spirit in Egypt. Egypt awaits, O oh Lord. Egypt awaits your blessing. Egypt awaits, Lord God, the outpouring. This is the outpouring, Lord God, that you promised, Lord God, many years ago. This was the outpouring, Lord God, that you put in the scriptures, Lord Jesus, even before the time when Christ physically arrived, that you had already pre-planned, Lord God, to touch the lives of Muslim people. And we thank you, Lord God, that we have this scripture now, that we have this prophecy. So let, Lord, every Muslim in Egypt, Lord God, begin to experience the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let every Muslim, Lord God, begin to realize by divine providence, by revelation, who Jesus is. Not what, Lord God, Christians who are not sincere say they are, or Christians who are, but rather personal visitation, Lord. Your word says, Lord, which we stand on, that you would reveal yourself to the Egyptian people. That's what your word says, Lord. Father, fulfill it now. Oh Lord, do it now. According to your word right now, let Muslims begin to experience the power of Jesus Christ. Let Egypt be shaken across their borders and across their monuments. Every business, every family, every church, every mosque, every place of business, Lord, in the marketplace, Lord Jesus, let the outpouring hit Egypt. And now we pray, Lord, that your spirit will arise in Assyria and, Lord, come into Saudi Arabia, into, Lord God, Iraq and Iran and Lebanon and Jordan and Turkey, Lord God, and Syria, Lord God, even touching Greece. Lord God, let there be an allyship form. Make, Lord, Assyria and Egypt allies, Lord God, experiencing the same Jesus Christ and also, Lord God, establishing both nation or territories, Lord God, politically. And Father, bring Israel in as a third part, Lord, that Israel might, Lord Jesus, come into that saving knowledge, that Israel might come into the revelation knowledge, that the divine revelation of, of Jesus Christ would come, Lord God, and bring Israel, making Israel your people, Egypt your people, and Assyria your people. This is the good word of God that can never fail. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up the nation of Qatar. We lift up Qatar Lord, Qatar, Lord Jesus, and we ask, Lord God, for every person in this great country, Lord God, to begin to receive the visitation of Jesus Christ. Lord, you became the minister. Oh, Lord God, of all of the promises of God made to the patriarchs, Lord God, and that the Muslims in the nation of Qatar would glorify your name for your mercy. Let Qatar, Lord Jesus, begin to receive the divine revelation of Jesus Christ, even as we pray. Now, Lord God, this is our inheritance. And Lord of the harvest, we are asking of you for the Muslim people of Qatar. We are asking with boldness in the name of Jesus, unashamedly. We are asking that you would pour out your spirit of power and might. We are asking for signs and wonders and anointed men and anointed women to carry the message. But most of all, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we loose the visitation of the Spirit in Qatar. 
in the name of Jesus, Lord, let many men and women receive dreams and visions, Lord God, and trances, Lord God, and spiritual awakenings, visitations beyond number. Lord, now is the time, Lord of the harvest. You told us to pray, Jesus, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're praying for laborers. We're praying that you would send harvesters, people who are packed, who are empowered with signs and wonders and miracles, Lord, to show the love of Jesus to the people of Qatar, Lord God, to the children, Lord God, that the children may begin to experience the power of Jesus Christ, Lord, right in their midst, Lord Jesus. Begin, Lord, to come into homes in Qatar. Begin to come into mosque in Qatar. Begin to come, Lord Jesus, into businesses, Lord God, and places of work, Lord Jesus. Begin to come into villages, O oh Lord, sovereignly. Begin to appear, my Lord Jesus, to your people. These are the sheep, Lord, which were not of the first fold. But now, Lord, it's their time to come in, Lord God, to turn them, Lord God, from the darkness or the ignorance of Christ into the light of his abundant glory, Lord Jesus, to turn them away from the power of sin, O oh Lord God, and the power of Satan to the power of Christ and the power of God. We ask it in the name of Jesus. We expect things to happen. We expect things to take place right now, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that you're adding, Lord God, many Muslim people right now as we pray. Many Muslim people, many Muslim children are experiencing Jesus Christ by divine providence, not by, Lord Jesus, intellectual conversion or sharing of ideas, not by saying Muslim people are wrong, but rather, Lord God, by the awakening of the gospel, the awakening of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you that your word always gets results. In Jesus' name, amen.